Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125. Best prices in the New York City tri-state area and beyond on rock salt, which they have plenty of, and any other snow melt, uh, snow and ice uh, melt products, snow blowers, spreaders, shovels, you name it, they got it. Uh, the website is omnitruevalue.com. And Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, speeding all your decorating needs, whether it's to get your home decorated for the holidays or this is your business and you need stock, they have plenty of that, 631-957-5106. They're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, and the website is liholidaylighting.com. We have a cold front that has been moving eastward. We still have a lot of clouds, though, even though the front has passed. It's actually in two pieces. Uh, the front, uh, the first front is offshore. The secondary front, which kind of marks the clearing line that's to the west, that is still just inland. And we'll just wait for that to pull through. And then you have drier air and colder air over the Great Lakes, that is actually going to be moving into uh, the East Coast, uh, all the way down uh, into uh, the Southeast and even into Florida. This is uh, an air mass that's going to have a, a rather large impact in terms of temperatures. Most of the rest of the nation really is dry, and that is, I think, the character of this Thanksgiving week. There are no major storms to deal with, and the weather is going to be reasonable. So if you are traveling, Outside of the minor inconveniences with regards to wind, uh, precip this week will be rel at a relative minimal, minimum and no major storms that will be impacting your travel no matter where you go from coast to coast. So here's the uh, radar as of 2 p.m. Again, most of the rain is offshore. We're seeing some echoes aloft that extend back westward over, over the coast. Uh, but that is pulling out as well. And now we're also seeing the beginnings of lake effect snows going on in upstate New York, on the east shores of Lake Ontario, down into central New York, and also into southwestern New York State. So this is some areas up here are going to wind up getting several to six inches of lake effect snows in the next 24 hours. As far as severe weather is concerned, there are no severe weather issues today or tomorrow or for Wednesday. So at least from the standpoint of what we're looking at today, severe weather is going to be uh, not a, won't be a factor. As far as precip over the next seven days, relatively dry. We're talking about in most areas, uh, a tenth to a quarter of an inch or less from Maine all the way down to Florida. In fact, we have large areas in the southeast and into Florida that won't see any precipitation over the next seven days. Uh, a little bit of heavier precip in northern Maine. And northern New England, by the way, has not gotten much, if any, snow at all uh, this fall. Well, that's probably going to change once we work our way through the weekend. Just want to show you what's going on in the upper atmosphere. We have a, this is from Friday, when we had a trough move through the eastern part of the United States. And of course, that set up our weather for the weekend and the uh, warmer temperatures that came in on Sunday and lingered into today. But now we have this deep trough in the eastern part of the United States that's bringing cold air. And if you look at the way the jet stream is structured, that colder air is going all the way down into the southeast and into northern Florida. But uh, this is all going to be uh, pulling out uh, for Wednesday and for Thursday. We'll still see but that, some of that chilly air lingering on Wednesday, but Thanksgiving Day looks great. A uh, bit of a ridge in here in the eastern part of the United States. And then comes another deeper trough for Friday and for the weekend and into next week. And this is going to uh, give us a rather, well, let's call it a longer stretch of colder weather that's going to start uh, on Friday night and last probably into the middle part of next week until that particular upper trough can finally uh, get out of the way. And then it looks like temperatures are going to moderate uh, quite a bit as we move through the latter part of next week and beyond. So that's sort of the general look as to how the long range is shaping up. If you're looking for uh, a, a, some, if you're looking for snow. You're going to have to go to the usual suspect spots around the Great Lakes and maybe even into northern New England uh, to find it over the next 
a week to 10 days or so. Here's what it looks like on the surface. Our front clears the coastline. Cold high pressure builds in. We're going to uh, take that high off the coast uh, on uh, Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Again, it looks like a, a very good day indeed. And then here comes the front for Friday with some showers. Nothing special in terms of precip. And then colder air comes in for Saturday and for Sunday. And then early next week, we're going to probably see a uh, little bit of energy there dropping down uh, out of the Great Lakes and to the mid-Atlantic coast it goes. And then after that, we're going to warm up uh, again. So it, it is looking uh, to me like we are going to be in pretty good shape here uh, as we uh, head through the rest of this, uh, this holiday week. And uh, as far as the temperatures are concerned from day to day, just want to show you that for Tuesday in areas from eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England down into northeastern Virginia, we're looking at most highs tomorrow only in the low 40s and some of the colder spots in northeastern Pennsylvania and the Hudson Valley not getting out of the 30s. Wednesday, more like middle 40s, maybe even some upper 40s down in Maryland, southern New Jersey uh, and points south and west. Thanksgiving Day temperatures are going to be back up into the 50s. Low and mid 50s are going to be quite common uh, from northeast Virginia on up into southern New England. A little colder as you get up into northeastern Pennsylvania and in areas further north into upstate New York. With the next cold front on Friday, we're looking at uh, showers and the front passing. So it's going to be another day uh, like today where it'll start out. The, the, higher, the highest temperatures of the day will start out early, the front will pass, and then temperatures will ease from the 50s back into the 40s. And then next weekend right now is looking to be a cold weekend. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 6317561125 for the best prices in town on all your winter cleanup products. OmniTrueValue.com, the website. Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. 631-957-5106 is the phone number there. And the website is LIHolidayLighting.com. So I hope everybody's going to have a great a uh, week here and a wonderful Thanksgiving. We're not going anywhere. We'll be here uh, doing our weather every day like we usually are. And the Joe and Joe Weather Show will be on tonight at its usual time, 730 Eastern. So we hope to see you then. Have a great afternoon.